Hi, uh, I am doing a very brief video again to show you that I've, I'm pickling the cucumbers because I went through my fridge today and uh, I did a big veggie shop for the apocalypse, obviously, for the end of the world. Uh, don't worry, I didn't hoard the food. I just went to my normal green grocers and got exactly what I would get on a normal day. So don't be sending me your messages about how disappointed you are in me because I already know that you're deeply, deeply disappointed in me and I'm incredibly irresponsible. And I'm probably the reason why the world is ending. Anyway, in the process of that, I found some soggy, sad cucumbers at the bottom of my fridge, but they were just not quite sad enough to throw away. So I sliced them all up, I packed them in my jars with, I don't like bread and butter to, uh, pickles because they're too sweet. So I'm making dill ones. I've used crushed garlic, some dill seeds, the sliced cucumber. You notice they look a little bit soggy already? That's because friends, I made the brine solution, which is one part water, one part apple cider vinegar. Ran out of apple cider vinegar halfway through, so I had to switch to white vinegar. So I'm sure that someone will write to me to tell me what a sacrilegious move that was. Looking forward to it. Um, we anyway, made the solution, poured it all in, and then I realized I'd forgot the fucking salt. So I'm boiling it up again. I've poured the liquid back into the pot, put the salt in there, and uh, I'm just gonna do it that way. It's not professional. It's not even probably really the way that you do it, but um, it doesn't really matter because I'm not throwing the cucumbers away. So that would be irresponsible and very disappointing. And uh, you know, the world as we know it is changing, so we have to be thrifty. Anyway, once that boils up, I will fill these jars up. You give it a little tap with a knife to get rid of the air bubbles. And then you, if you want to store it in the fridge, you, okay, there's two processes. Okay, and I'm sure someone will correct me on this. Um, if you want to, to put them in the cupboard and store them for a long time, then you have to process the jars first. And that involves sterilizing them. I sterilize them by putting in, them in the dishwasher. That's probably wrong. Um, but you can do it by just boiling them for two minutes as well. Two minutes, four minutes. Do four minutes because otherwise someone will get mad at you. Um, so you sterilize the jars and then you can store them in the cupboard for up to a year. And then once you crack them open, I mean, we might all be dead by then, but once you crack them open, uh, this is supposed to be the calm video. We're not gonna die, really. we're not. We're, all, we're not gonna die. We're just, the world's just gonna change significantly, that's all. Um, don't worry though, I'm sure people will still be assholes on the internet. We have the internet. We might not have the internet. They'll probably just come around to my house and shout through the window. You're very disappointing. Anyway, enough of me. Um, if you would like to just keep them in the fridge, if you're feeling a little less optimistic about the chances of us making it through the year, you might just want to store them in the fridge. So you can do that just by washing the jars with soap and water. Don't don't use with soap that you've made yourself though, and if you do, don't tell anyone about it because they will not like it. And that is how you irresponsibly and disappointingly pickle cucumbers. Enjoy.